So you've learned two ways of factoring so far. Today you're gonna to learn the third. The first thing you learned was factoring by finding the greatest common factor, right? What does it mean to factor? You're looking for two things that you can multiply together to get back to the original question, right? That's what it means to factor. Okay, how would I write this in factored form? How would I factor this? What is the greatest common factor? Negative seven, what? X. Yeah, that's 21X. So that means that both of these are divisible by negative 7X. So to factor means that you're looking for two things you would multiply together to get back to the question. So if I can divide it by negative 7X, that goes first. It means I can multiply it by that, right? Yep. Okay, so what is, the, what is the answer in the bracket now? What's negative 7X divided by negative 7X? 1X. One. X Reduces to one. What's a positive divided by a negative? Negative. What's 21x divided by 7x? Three. That's it. Finding the greatest common factor. That was the first type of factor you learned. So the first thing you do is write down what is the greatest common factor of all these terms. So of four x squared, 16x and 24. What's the greatest number that all of these are divisible by? Four. Do, can I put 4x? Why not? Josh? There's no x in the last term. So all of these are divisible by four, which means that when we write it in factored form, we put the four in front. We are looking for two things you multiply together to get us back to the question. So I would do four times something to get back to the original question, right? Well, to figure out what that something is, we take the first term and, and divide it by the greatest common factor. What's four x squared divided by four? X squared. What's 16 x squared divided by four? Positive four x. What's 24 divided by four? Positive six, that's it, yep. The second type of factoring you learned was how to factor if it's a difference of squares. What is a difference of squares? It has to have what? It has to have two terms, right? Both terms have to be what? Have to be perfect squares. And what does this mean? What does difference mean? What are they subtra separated by? Subtraction. If it has all those three things, then we can use the special way of factoring, which is finding the square root of the first term and finding the square root of the second term and putting plus and minus, right? So let's do an example. I'll let you copy this. So I can do x squared. Is that a perfect square? And 49 is a perfect square. If I separate it by subtraction, this right here, is a difference of squares, right? How do you factor a difference of squares? You're looking for the square root of the first term is x, right? Remember this from the other day? What's the square root of the last term? <clears throat> what times what gives me 49? <clears throat> what times what gives me a negative? A positive and a negative. That's it, that's factored. Remember this? What if I do this now? What if I write it like this? 100 minus x squared. How would I factor this? It's a difference of squares, right? Yes. Yes, 10 what? So it would be 10 would be the first terms, and what would be the last terms? And then what? Add and subtract. If you wrote x plus 10 and x minus 10, that is incorrect because the question was 100 minus x squared. If you wanted to get this as your answer, it would have had to have been x squared minus 100. Do you see how the order counts? The first term was 100, so my first terms are gonna be the square root of that. The second term was x squared, so my second term is gonna be the square root of that. If I change the order, then it would be like this, okay? Does that make sense? So what is this? 
How would you factor this one? Is that a difference of squares? Yeah. yeah. What is it in factored form? Chris. Okay, it would be 5 plus x, because we do the square root of the first term, and then the square root of the second term is x. What if I do this one? 16x squared minus 121. Is that a difference of squares? Is this a perfect square? Is this a perfect square? So what is it in factor form? 4x would be the first terms. And then what's the square root of 121? 11. And what has to be the sign? One has to be positive and one has to be negative because a positive times a negative gives us a negative.